How's it going, people? Sam Slab here, and it is Monday, which means update day. And there's quite a few things. Um, well, first off, Hattie and Skull is here. So for those of you who are waiting for Hattie and Skull to appear, they are actually in the game now. Good times. So if you don't actually know what these things are, if you've never actually seen them before, or you just joined the game, I suppose, and you didn't even know they existed, uh, basically Hattie and Skull are two giant ass wolves that appear up by Relica. And while well, you kill them, you get some nice items for it, and some bonus XP, and you know, it's worth doing it, to be totally honest. Hands down, you just, it's worth doing it. So for those of you who've done it before, it's exactly the same. Uh, they've added an extra one, which I think was there last time. Uh, Ayers gear, or Ayers gear, however you want to say it. So let's go over it then. So Hattie is the legendary wolf from Fremnic Legends, and he'll have, just casually wander around the southeast woods of Relica. He's tough, his attacks are accurate, but if you work together in a group, you can just stab him in the face and you'll win. Um, it is possible to kill this thing on your own, it's a weird spin, but you have to be relatively high level, and it does take quite a while because he has a fair amount of life. So typically going in with a bunch of randoms is typically what's going to happen, and you'll more likely find people up there right now doing it, so now is probably the best time to get around to doing it. So for killing Hattie, what do you get? Well, there's a high chance that he will drop you some Hattie Paws, which are cosmetic gloves that can be clicked to claim normal and bonus XP in the choice of your combat skill. You will also drop a cosmetic hood and a cloak if you don't already have them. So next on the list is Skull. Skull you will find on the west side, just south of Relica's entrance, and there's a giant ass bonfire next to the coast. All right, general premise of this is you need to add 120 logs in there. This does work if you work with a bunch of other other people, so yeah, you'll likely do that too. Skull also has quite a lot of life. It is possible to take him out on your own, but well, it's easy with randoms, let's be honest. So basically, you cut down 120 logs, you add them all to this giant big fog off bonfire, light it up, and Skull will appear, and then you kill him. And eventually, once he is dead, you will obtain yourself some Skull Boots, which will grant you normal and bonus XP within agility or woodcutting when they're clicked on. You'll also gain a cosmetic amulet out of it if you don't already have it. So the Handy Paws gives you combat bonuses, and the Skull Boots will give you agility or your woodcutting bonuses. And it's a fairly chunky amount of XP, if I remember rightly. Like, um, 500k XP was it? Pretty sure it is, because I remember doing this last year when I was going 99 agility. You get a bollock ton of bonus XP from them, so these are definitely worth doing. The other thing as well is Aya, or Aya, I don't know, I'm just going to say Aya, that's her name, right? So Aya is a Valkyrie that thinks that the Sixth Age is the end of everything, and she's lost her helmet and spear. So in order to get the helmet and spear, you need to defeat Hattie or Skull, or harvest enriched wits at the colony southeast of the Relica home port. Repeat these options until you get duplicates of the gear, so you can get two of one type of item, so you might have two helmets or two spears, and then you trade with other players for the one you're missing. Once you've gotten both of these, you need to speak to Aya by the Golden Apple Tree, which is just next to the uh, Divination Colony, and you'll get a chunk of normal XP and bonus XP in a choice of Prayer or Divination, plus you will also obtain cosmetic overrides for Aya's helmet and her spear, if you don't already have them. So there we go, that is Hattie Skull and Aya. So in a nutshell, Hattie will be wandering just south of Relica, stab him in the face, get the Hattie Paws, that'll give you bonus XP and a combat skill of your choice. Go to the west of Relica and you'll find a giant big fuck off bonfire, light that bad boy up, Skull will appear, stab him in the face, get his boots, that'll give you massive XP in agility or woodcutting. And then kills Hattie, Skull, or just do divination in the Relica area in order to get uh, one of Aya's gear. Two of them in fact, so you might get two helms or two spears. And then trade it with another player for the piece you're missing. And then talk to Air by the Golden Apple to get a massive chunk of everything. So there we go. Not bad at all, eh? So that is out right now. I'm not sure how long it's going to be lasting. Probably until either the end of this month or the end of next month, I expect. So yeah, you've got a while to do it. And I'd probably do it sooner rather than later, since there'll be lots of people doing it right now, which makes your life quite a lot easier when going to get them. So there we go. So that's Hattie and Skull for you. So, the other thing worth mentioning, if you don't already know about it, I'm sure everybody does, but there's another double XP weekend, and this is going to be on February the 20th. Uh, this is basically to coincide with Game Blast 15, which is a charity event. Well, it's a charity gaming marathon, basically. And over this weekend, you'll be getting your nice, lovely double XP. 
that's pretty much all there is to it for that announcement. So double XP 20th, I'm sure everybody already realizes since the prices of everything's going up in the G already. There we go. Double XP coming soon. And last but not least, since it is Monday, obviously we do have some patch notes. It's not a huge amount, but um, well, there's quite a few ninjas, so maybe there's some useful ones in here. So graphical wise, let's get into it then. Weapon animation, which previously overrode incorrectly after using the combat ability, will no longer do so. The HTML5 client users will no longer stand on the Heffin Church flags while running the agility course. Moving on to skills in minigames, the chest in Varrock's church now displays the correct treasure trail hint. Players can no longer take skeletal horror bones out of the D&D. Players are no longer able to teleport out of the sinkhole's reward room. The Dragon Battle Axe spec attack buff is now cleared upon starting a duel. Moving on to quests and achievements, the instructions for the probably metal Tyrannan task has been clarified. The quest start screen at the Between the Rock and Lost City quests have been updated to reflect combat level calculation changes. Moving on to the miscellaneous stuff. There's quite a few of these. So the XP rewards given out by Hattie, Skull and Aya have been rebalanced. Several issues which caused the camera to act incorrectly upon logging in have been fixed. Consequently, the camera will now face south instead of north when logging in. Clan keywords have been updated with additional options. Iron Woman and Iron Man are now available as clan job titles. Players who leave or are removed from their clan are now able to rejoin their old clan immediately. They must still wait 7 days before they can join a different clan, however. The Ancient Artifact job has been added to Virago's Beasts page. Iron Man players are no longer able to mine living rock creatures that were killed by other players. 104 million XP achievements will now broadcast correctly to friends. So 120 is that reason means. Uh, auras will no longer display on the buff panels when logging into a free world. It is no longer possible to skull a PvP opponent by attacking their familiar. Players can no longer attempt to repair a blood necklace at 100% durability. References to Isluin when converting crystal seeds to weapons have been removed. Players will now correctly receive seeds if relevant from tree patches if cleared via the tree directly instead of via the farmer. Corrected the initial wield message for newly crafted crystal weapons to mention weapons instead of armor. A number of spelling and grammar issues have been fixed across the various pieces of content. The following improvements have been made to the portable well. Melee combination pots may now be combined at a portable well for extra XP though without a chance to make any extra combination pots. Unfinished pots can now be made at a portable well. Water containers can now be filled by using them on a portable well. The following changes have been made to Araxar. Spider leg drops will now broadcast to your friends lists. The Araxite pheromone drop rate has been increased. The preferred Araxar style in instances or with a pheromone is now guaranteed to spawn based on the weapon within your right hand. So I guess that was a bit random before then. So the preferred Araxos style in instances or with a pheromone is now guaranteed to spawn based with a weapon on your right hand, just so you know. And last but not least, we got the ninja fixes. So by speaking to Bob Barter at the Grand Exchange, you can now toggle whether or not you wish to receive the remaining vial after finishing the last dose of a potion. Boss pets will now show their tier 3 loot beams as the previously used tier 1 loot beams was not always appearing. The Rise of the Six Bobblehead Pets, Vidalis, Bombi, and Zrek Jad Pets now show their owner's kill count of the relevant bosses when the player interacts with the pet. Players can now use their keyboard to control st uh, stances on Hef and Serenity posts and on the Gnome Glider interface. The Motherload More rewards have been adjusted to replace the Runite items to make the rewards slightly more elf-like. Players will now receive a message in their chat box when a gardener agrees to look after a patch. Players can now move the XP pop-up interface by using edit mode. There is now an entrance into Relica on the Eastern Spear Wall. Players can now set the target level on each skill to 120, similar to Dungeon Ewan, instead of manually having to set the equivalent value of XP. Players can now toggle to rotate their loot beam in Death's Office, which will cycle through their unlocked loot beams. Daily challenges now give more useful information about what is needed to hand in on completion of the challenge. Players can now quick chat how many treasure trails they completed. The following changes have also been made to familiarization D&Ds. 
All worlds now start familiarization at the same time, the D&D tracker now accurately shows the starting time of familiarization, and all summoning obelisks that allow entry to familiarization will now sparkle when the D&D begins. They will also offer a teleport to pick up sticks. So there we go. That is pretty much everything for Monday. So all in all, um, oh, not a huge amount of niceness from the patch notes, nothing major I suppose. Other than they fixed our axle properly. Well, I suppose the eastern spear wall entrance to Relic is kind of handy. <laughs> it's nice how I picked up on that thing out of absolutely everything on this list. But yeah! That is pretty much everything for Monday, people. So if I was you, I'd probably go and get yourself the Hattie and Skull stuff. As uh, it's better to have it than not. So there we go. In fact, I might even see you up there. Oh, for those of you as well, uh, I'm sure everybody's noticed, but the massive amount of shitty lag and the random disconnections and getting thrown out of worlds, yeah, that's been annoying me as well. So here it is, here's your official announcement from the RuneScape team. You can look through the forums as well, there's similar discussions on there. As you may be aware, some game worlds are having intermittent connectivity issues due to the disruption affecting internet traffic to our networks. We're doing everything we can to mitigate any impact on your gameplay. We're really sorry for any inconveniences this may be causing. Whilst this is ongoing, we advise players to avoid high-risk gameplay activities which could result in character death if you get unexpectedly disconnected. If you need to get in touch with customer support, please use the support center on the RuneScape website. Kind regards, RuneScape team. So yeah, it seems to be only one batch of their data centers though. Uh, the reason I say that is basically the UK worlds. Every time I've gone onto a UK or European world, I seem to get thrown out, but whenever I go onto an American world, don't seem to have too much of a problem besides the America servers of me obviously being laggy as shit because the ping and latency is massive. But yeah. So there we go. You might have to have a little wander in different worlds if you keep getting disconnected from your favourite one. At least for a while. So with that said, that is pretty much everything, people. Um, Handy and Skull is here. Double XP is on the 20th of February. Uh, patch notes, well, you just heard them. And yeah, there's still some dodgy services going on with the servers on here. So there we go. So until next time, people. Um, well, what's coming up this week? I don't know, I still got to do the elites, but I need uh, recipes and stuff like that. So yeah, I don't see that being done anytime soon unless I wing it. Don't particularly want to do that. So I might wait until I actually have the requirements in order to do it. Uh, other than that, well, I'm still doing the comp in. Uh, I have got an episode to throw up sometime soon. And yeah, there we go. Guess that's my plan for now. Maybe I'll check my quest guide this week. Get a quest guide done. Something like a cold, maybe? I don't know. We see what happens, like, you know what I mean? Either way, people, I will catch you all later. Have a good one. Love you all. Monday. Happy days. Yep, I think that should do it. Uh, good times. Hmm. It's not bad. <laughs>